take a look at this massive slug. It's called the Spanish slug and they can grow up to about 15 centimetres long uh, and they're causing havoc and some alarm in central Moscow where they have started showing up after spreading all the way from Spain, if you can believe it. Here's uh, one Twitter user. They said they found one near the Kremlin that was the size of a little kitten. Do you want to see? Here we go. Uh, look how big it is. This is it. Compared to their pet cat, who doesn't seem to be bothered at all uh, by this slug. Well, I also want to bring you an expert on how these massive slugs are managing to spread so far and so wide, so fast. Well, there's a number of reasons why they're spreading so far and wide. Um, one of the main reasons is that they just produce copious amounts of slime. So this helps them to survive under much drier conditions than our normal slugs. Secondly, the amount of slime that they produce makes them really not very tasty to the normal sort of predators that slugs that eat slugs. Um, so your birds and your hedgehogs really don't like to eat these Spanish slugs. And thirdly, they just reproduce at such an alarming rate. That's what makes them successful. So why is it a problem if there are so many of these giant slugs? Well, they have voracious appetites, so they tend to, you tend to find that they destroy your crops overnight. And also they tend to like plants which other slugs might not like. So we advise people to perhaps put out their plants when they're slightly bigger and a bit tougher, but this doesn't seem to deter the Spanish slug. So, so you're, we could have uh, devastated uh, crops and plants all around us if these slugs are let go wild. Um, but is there a way to stop them? I mean, what would you be recommending? Well, like most of these things, there's no one simple answer, I'm afraid. Um, I would go for a sort of multi-pronged approach. One of the best ways, um, perhaps not so good if you're squeamish, but is to <laughs> um, pick them off and try and destroy them. And it's best to try and do this early in the season. Um, if you can sort of try and get this done sort of before August, before you go on holiday, um, because that's before they start laying eggs. Once they start laying eggs, you've got a ticking time bomb for your next season. Now, the doctor also told me you can set a beer can trap and that they'll go in drowned and have a glorious death, as he called it. So I'm going to leave you with that story of uh, the slug ending this edition of the BBC's Outside Source.